Shaw Crystal, you got the best of me, and you can keep on selling for way too much. Whoa! Hey guys, this is Reckles with Want to Buy Gold, and today's video is about, you guessed it, Shaw Crystal farming. We're going over to the Timeless Isle, and I'm going to be bringing my enchanter to be disenchanting the 496 Timeless gear I get over there. At the end of the test, we're going to be buying anything we can with the Timeless coins we get uh, from either the Timeless vendor uh, over by all the Celestials, or if we don't have enough for any of that, we're going to be going over to the Bonkers vendor northeast of Moss Green Lake and playing that game over there. Now, I don't really have a lot of bag space on my tune because this is my rating tune, so I'm not really going to be focusing on picking up all the cloth and all the greens and all the rares stuff, um, but when you go out there, these guys are pretty high level. These are the hardest um, just open world mobs in the game, um, so they do drop a lot of really good stuff. Um, so by all means, pick up all that stuff when you guys go out there. Um, but we are just focusing on specifically testing how many Shaw Crystals you can get per hour. So let's go on out there and uh, start the test. Now, the ideal way to kill these guys is to down them before they get off any of their abilities. If you're having trouble doing that, um, start attacking them as soon as they start casting their ability Forage. Um, they, it's a 5 or 10 second cast and they don't do anything during the entire cast. They have to finish it. Um, after that, you can stun them or interrupt them, charge them, do all that good stuff uh, as soon as they start casting their first big AoE thing. And then um, you can do the same thing again uh, when they start casting their big Enrage ability. Um, here, during my 30-minute test, I killed according to my epoch stone counter 32 of the berserkers and it was a little disappointing actually i only got one timeless armor piece off of these i got three in total because i also killed leaf mender and the black yongul rare um two of the rares spawned during the 30 minute test which got me three timeless pieces and i also got 4600 timeless coins comes out to about seven uh, timeless armor pieces over an hour farming session. Which uh, total gold value with today's market comes out to about um, 1,200 gold. Not very impressive. I also got three stacks of cloth and a blue rare piece, which would sell for about 1,500 gold, which is pretty nice. But um, overall, not very impressed. According to Wowhead, though, these results are average. If you add up all the drop rates for the Timeless Armor from the Burning Berserkers, uh, you get about a 3.3% drop rate for Timeless Armor, which means uh, killing uh, 33, 32 uh, Burning Berserkers will yield you one drop in 30 minutes. So, there you go. The moral of the story, if you're going out to the Timeless Isle, do it not to farm Shaw Crystals. Uh, do it to farm Rep, and any Shaw Crystals are going to be a bonus. One piece of advice I will say, though, stock up on Mogu runes, get a group together, and run the Throne of Thunder. Coin every boss disenchant all of that gear and then you'll have not only five or six shot crystals but you'll also have five or six haunting spirits and there you'll have five thousand ten thousand gold depending on your server prices and that'll be a much better use of your time so until next time thank you for watching go ahead comment if you liked the video comment if you didn't like the video comment if you're indifferent and until next time have a good day playing wow and uh Searchcraft post every day. Have a good one, guys.